And usually if you're drinking a nice coffee, it's a hot coffee that they cool down. Ours is cold brewed, meaning that we soak the coffee for 24 hours. We're down in the production center at the brew compound. It's Dave Sands here, and I'm with Grady Laird. What we do here is we make Grady's cold brew. Everything is brewed, bottled, and shipped out from our warehouse right here on North 15th and Barry. Grady's gonna teach us how to make his famous cold brew concentrate at home. So, make right. me my cup of coffee, buddy. Thank you, Dave. So today I'm going to teach you how to make cold brewed coffee concentrate. This is super easy to do at home. This can be used to make iced coffee as well as hot coffee if you heat it up. Everyone can kind of make it their way. If they drink it with milk, they can add milk. Uh, you can add water if you like your coffee black. To start, get your largest French press available. This is a 1.5 liter French press. Two cups of ground coffee. You can use uh, any can from the supermarket. You can go get something freshly roasted, a little higher quality, but uh, the cold brew process is pretty forgiving. And to that, I'm gonna add about 1.5 liters of water. I actually prefer using room temperature water. I think that the flavor of the coffee comes out a little bit more. Give it a stir, put the top on the French press, leave it out on the counter. We think minimum of 12 hours for the coffee to steep. So the next morning you wake up, all you have to do is go grab your French press, plunge down the coffee, pour it so then you can put it in the refrigerator. Dave, let's uh, have us some coffee. How do you take it? Black or with a little milk? Uh, I would like mine black this morning. All right. Pour equal amounts of the coffee concentrate with equal amounts of milk, soy milk, almond milk. For Dave's, I just pour some water. As easy as it is to cold brew your own, there's really nothing easier than simply unscrewing a cap. Cheers. Cheers. Wow.